XDP is back on the road at Bader Field in Atlantic City for Atlantic City Truck Meet 2023. What do we got going on today, Julian? We got beautiful weather and we got plenty to do. We're gonna take you guys down Vendor Row, over to the Show and Shine, and much, much more. All right, so let's walk around and see what we got. We're out here at Atlantic City Truck Meet with Jalen and her beautiful uh, Ford Super Duty. Jalen, what kind of truck do we have behind us here? It is a 2019 XLT F250. Jalen, it's a beautiful truck. What's all done to it? So I have a custom grill. I have custom headlights. I got a speaker in my spare tire. I have custom wheels. I have floater center caps and the interior is all done inside. So what's the inspiration behind the color scheme for the truck? Is this like your favorite color or? Yeah, it's definitely my favorite color, teal. I tell everybody I hate teal, but it's not true. I absolutely love teal. The whole truck is teal as much as it can be without being too much teal. My favorite thing about this truck, personally, is all the sea turtles. They're all over the truck. You got little accents everywhere. What's the story behind the sea turtles? So the truck is actually named after a sea turtle I adopted, uh, JB. I kind of keep track on it to where it's going around, but I started a merch line where everything I sell a percentage goes to help the sea turtles. So I kind of wanted to do a build with just sea turtles everywhere. I'm here with Andy from Fury Tires. How's it going? Good brothers and living the dream. I hear you. So. Uh, you guys are actually a new vendor with us. Just give a little bit of a background for the people who may not know you, who are looking for your products with us and uh, just wanted a little bit more of a background of you guys. Yeah, of course. Um, so Fury started back in 2015. Obviously we came in and lifted, you know, truck world um, and made, you know, the big awkward sizes that no one were making. And now we've developed our whole line, um, everything from two different MT styles, an RT and an AT. And this is our biggest one right here, big old 44, 165030, uh, released last SEMA. Aside from this tire, tell us a little bit more about the other tires you have at the booth. Okay, so I got uh, two new tires here today. Um, it's our 35-165024 MT2 and a 35-1450-26 MT2. Um, I mean, everyone's been loving the new MT2 tread design. Rides quieter, smoother, lasts longer, bounces out way nicer. Um, so everyone's been really loving those. And then we have a new AT right here, um, which is about a, it's a metric, so it's about 35 and some change uh, for a 24. Fits about a 24 by 12 really well. Here with Mike from Morimoto. How's it going, Mike? Good. How you doing? Doing good. Doing good. So uh, you guys are a relatively newer vendor with us. We love to see you out here. Uh, just kind of give a little bit of, of a background of the company for the people who are aren't as familiar or kind of looking to check out what's uh, what's in store for us, uh, what we have available on XDP. Yeah. So we actually started doing retrofits, which is like you open up the headlights, cut them open, and put a projector in, and then we moved to full headlight products. So now we sell all full headlights and all full taillights for pretty much every major truck from 2012 on. Awesome. And so uh, give us uh, a little bit of uh, insight of what we actually have in, at the booth today. So today is all of our Super Duty. So even up front, we have the Super Duty headlights, Super Duty taillights, and then it's all Ford stuff for this display. And we also have Holly Retro Bright, which is for all old school classic vehicles. Direct, direct plug and play for classic vehicles.
We're here at the Show and Shine with David and his beautiful LB7. David, what do we have behind me here? Uh, it's a 2003 GMC LB7, and it's got 10K on a new motor. What kind of mods you got in this thing? Um, I have a Built Trans by Alex Toucan for 750 horsepower. I have a Danville 64. It has an XDP sump kit. It has a fast 165, 12 mil CP3. Any any future plans for the truck or for you? Any projects in the works? Um, I have another LB7 project that I'm working on currently. It's a 2002, and it's going to be just like this truck, but black. And I'm looking to sell this thing and get a 2015-2016 LML. Here with Greg from KG1 Forge. How's it going, Greg? It's going great, man. Good to see you. Awesome. It's great to see you too. We're glad to be out here and uh, be checking out some of the vendors. Uh, you're a newer vendor of ours. Uh, just for the people that may not know you as well, just give a little background and kind of what to expect uh, the XCP customers, what they can expect uh, from KG1 Forge on our website. Sure. Yeah, I'm really excited. Uh, Greg from KG1, we just got launched on XCP's website. Um, pretty much our motto is Forge for everyone. We are a least expensive alternative for Forge wheels. We believe everybody should be able to afford Forge wheels for their truck, and uh, that's what we're here to do. Tell us a little bit about what you brought out here with you today. So we have two trucks from one of our clients here in Jersey that was nice enough to loan them to us. Uh, brand new 23 F350 with our Tridents black and milled and uh, this 21 GMC behind me with a set of our 2414 scuffles. Uh, we do have a couple new wheels and unfortunately we wouldn't be able to bring today, uh, but they are in our catalogs we've been showing off to some people. All right guys, we got a great interview here for you. Sir, why don't you tell us a little bit about your Cummins? I'm here with Madeline, also known as the first gen Barbie. How's it going, Madeline? Good, how are you? Doing good, great to see you, great to be at the show. Hopefully you're enjoying the show as well. It's awesome, so far. All right, so we had to stop and check out your truck. Uh, give us a little bit of a background of it as far as like when you got it and how long the process has taken to get it to where it is. Um, I've honestly only had it maybe a year at this point and we built it in maybe like three, four months. It was a really quick process, but there's still a lot I want to do to it now that I have the time. Absolutely. So tell us about the uh, the color choice because that's definitely the one thing that stands out. Well, I really wanted to do Barbie, so I was going to do pink, but I feel like the purple is just classier. So I'll do pink for the next build. Tell us a little bit more about like the modifications that you got done to it. So I wanted to keep a lot of it original. I really like how the grill and the bumper and everything looks. So I put most of it into the suspension and underneath, just adding the Barbie everywhere. But other than that, I wanted it to look like a first gen. My tires are the Fury tires. They're 42s. I don't think I could fit any bigger because it does air down. And then my wheels are maxed forge. Quick question, lifted or slammed? It's gotta be lifted. Uh, in the middle. Lowered. Lifted. Slammed. Slammed only. Slammed. Slam. Slam. He is the slam. Lift it, <laughs> lift it, lift it. No, no. Slammed. Slammed. Lifted. Leveled. Uh, lifted. Lifted. Lifted, man. Lifted. Slam. Lifted. Lifted. Slammed. Squatted all the way. <laughs> <laughs> lifted. 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 Quick question for you. What's your favorite diesel? 
12 valve Cummins. 73 power stroke turbo diesel. It's a complicated question. Cummins, Super Duty body, and Allison Trans. Perfect body. Favorite diesel? 6.7 power stroke, man. You can do anything in the world to them, and they're still going to run. And if something breaks, all you got to do is run down the road and get another part. Thermax. 6 0. Power stroke. Good choice. I like it. Favorite diesel truck? LML. 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 Good variety here. Probably Cummins, 5.9. 6 0 power stroke. Uh, my 05 Thermax. Perfect. Sir, favorite yes. diesel truck? 5.9 Cummins. Uh, F350, uh, 2021, 6 7. As trucks are rolling out, this marks the end of this year's Atlantic City Truck Meet 2023. Tell us what we saw, Julian. We saw a lot of great trucks down at the Show and Shine. We talked to a lot of great vendors down Vendor Row, and that Mechanical Bull definitely gave us a run for our money. Absolutely, it definitely did. For more content from this year's event, follow our social medias at XDP Diesel, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and check out our blog at XDP.com. We'll see you in the next video.